What up guys? Welcome back. So it's day two of seven days of holiday slay. Now before we get started on today's look, uh, look down below click that subscribe button and also click that bell if you want to get notifications for when I post new videos. Now for today's look, it's all about neutral glam. So I've got a neutral cut crease going on in the eyes and for the lips I wanted to do something that's a little bit more neutral for me, like dark neutral I guess. <laughs> I wanted to do brown lips. Now the lipstick I used has a bit of like a brown shimmer in it so it just looks really nice and it's a nice way to be glam but not overkill for the holidays so don't forget to give this a thumbs up I'm hoping we can get this to 25 likes can we do it I hope so look down below and give it a thumbs up all right you guys let's just jump right into this tutorial now I like to start off with the eyes and the first step as always I will be priming my lids with my Smashbox primer because my lids get so freaking oily and I really want to make sure that this is going to last throughout the day. Then I'm going to be setting this with a flesh toned eyeshadow. And I'm just packing that on there because the goal is you don't want your primer to make your lids tacky. You want your eyeshadows to be able to blend seamlessly. So because we're doing a cut crease, you really want to make sure that you have the right tools here. I do have another video where I talk about in detail the technique and I'll, you know, put that up in the corner so you guys can go check that out. So first of all, I'm going to be using the Tartiste uh, Pro Palette. So freaking beautiful. It's like the best for the holidays. So to start off, I dipped my brush in the color Edgy, which is a nice warm brown. And I'm just going to see how my eyelid is like hooded. So if I look up, I want to create the cut crease above where my eye folds. So remember to always look up every once in a while, double check, and then look down and create that crease. And then just wing it out right at the edge. Now take a clean blending brush, angle your shadow down, and blend upwards. This will keep everything above the line you just created. Okay, so I want this to be just a tad bit more exaggerated, so I'm going to add very carefully a little bit more shadow. And as I'm doing this, I'm just blending this lightly in. So basically, you just want to dip your brush, like dab it, not even dip, very gently, and then just blend it upwards. Okay, so see how that line just looks? It's really, really, really subtle right now. <laughs> and if you look at my other eye, we're going to add that black color right there. And that's just going to help us really accentuate this neutral cut crease. Now, this is the color punk. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to line right where that brown starts right there. And I'm going to use a very light touch. Okay, so see how that line looks? It's a little bit harsh for my liking, so now I'm going to take a clean blending brush and I'm going to go over that area. Okay, so I feel like we got the hardest part <laughs> out of the way, and now I'm just going to accentuate like with a flesh tone color right under that cut crease. And see, you almost can't really tell that I'm even adding eyeshadow, but that's the whole point. We want this to look neutral, like it's just the color of your skin. Okay, 
And of course, we gotta add some mascara to top this off. I'm using a Maybelline's Colossal Mascara. Of course, we're priming, and I'm using my Tarte Clean Slate Poreless Primer, but I'm only using that in my oily section, so my forehead, down my nose, and then I'm gonna try this new primer. This is from DHC. Now, um, it's called Velvet Skin Coat, and it seems to be a, um, like smoothing primer gets rid of fine lines so I'm excited to try that out I love trying out new things so when it comes out it's super clear it looks almost like silicone based which is nice because now that you know it's the cooler months the non oily parts of my skin are starting to get really dry for today's look I wanted to do something a little bit more like bold so I'm going darker on my skin this is the makeup forever <laughs> god I can't talk <laughs> this is the makeup forever uh, ultra HD foundation I'm putting it on my morphe m439 brush so now I'm going in with concealer I'm gonna go in with two concealers actually because I want more of a like full coverage a look um, on my under eyes at least so the first one is going to be the naked concealer this is in the color dark golden And then I'm going to blend that in with my Beauty Blender. Okay, so a little trick that I learned, I'm going to take my setting spray, take my Beauty Blender, spray it on there, and then I'm going to just dab in so I can prevent any creasing. Okay, so while that's drying, I'm going to go ahead and do some contour around my face. This is the Tartise Contour Palette. It's their collab with Makeup Shayla. I've used this on my channel plenty of times. I just love that it has contour shades for, you know, really like deep skin tones, you know, so she did a really great job. Okay, so now that that first concealer is dry I'm gonna go in with my second one and I'm just going to apply it very lightly on the areas where my dark circles are the deepest all right so I know my under eyes look like a little crazy right now <laughs> but I'm going to go ahead and take my setting powder I'm using the Kat Von D setting powder today and I'm also using her setting brush I love this one this is like my favorite favorite powder brush. I'm just going to dab that lightly under the eyes. I'm going to set the center of my forehead and down my nose. So let's go. Now since I'm looking like just a tad bit pasty, I'm going to use my MAC Pro Longwear Powder and this is going to help me warm up my face just so that I don't look, you know, wild. <laughs> First comes blush. I'm using Milani's uh, Baked Blush in the color Rose Doro. I love this one, it has just the most beautiful sheen. Look. I don't know if you guys can see it, but off camera, woo! It certainly is lovely now is my favorite part we're gonna highlight and I just got this new highlighter you guys you're gonna freaking die when you see this first of all this is from Urban Decay it's their highlighter in the color lit on brown skin tones it looks beautiful now I am pretty sure this is like a body highlighter but I was like mm, I'm gonna put this on my face so I'm using this brush, this is from Royal and Lagnico, and it's their Highlight and Glow blush. So I'm really getting this stuff on there. That nose highlight is um, pretty popping. Damn. All right, so on the lips today, um, I'm doing something just like a little bit more brownish, nude-ish. <laughs> <laughs> that makes sense. First, I'm starting off with the MAC uh, Lip Pencil in Chestnut. Uh, I love this. It just, it just goes with everything, you know? Okay, so now that it's colored in, not fully, but 
kind of, you know, <laughs> and I look a little bit crazy. I'm gonna go ahead and add the lip color. This is from Urban Decay and it's called Conspiracy. Such a gorgeous freaking color, like, man. Okay guys, so that's it for this look. I just, uh, I just love it. It's definitely got a lot of nude vibes. The lips are like a lot more dramatic and metallic-y and shimmery um, thanks to that awesome lip color. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this. Um, I want you guys to come back tomorrow because I will be doing day three of seven days of holiday slay. Of course, you know I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!